In this video, we're going to look at how to find a power function given two points. <coughs> and one of the interesting things that can happen with power functions and one of their interesting properties. Um, so we want to find a power function of the form y equals a x to the p going through the points negative 1, 3 fourths and 2, 48. The way we're going to start this is very similar to how we'd start finding an exponential through two points. Um, we're going to actually plug those points in for x and y and make two equations. So for, the, for this point, I know when y is 48, that x must be 2 into the p. So I plugged in my x and y for this point. Do the same thing on this one. Know that y is 3 fourths when x is negative 1 to the p. Okay? Now what I'm going to do is I'm going to do uh, I, have a, I have basically a system of equations. I have two equations with two variables. I'm going to use cancellation or elimination. I'm going to divide the two equations to eliminate the a over here because the a's will cancel. Now over here I end up with 48 divided by 3 fourths. If I do that I'm going to get 64 equals, now on the left hand side I have 2 to the p over negative 1 to the p. I can write that as 2 over negative 1 to the p for my properties of exponents or 64 equals negative 2 to the p. So we have to solve for that exponent. Well, 64 can be rewritten as a base 2. In fact, it's 2 to the 6th equals negative 2 to the p. Which, and it's okay that it's negative because notice my power is even. So I get p equals 6. So, I can start to put together my function. I have y equals ax to the sixth, and now I need to find my a. So, I can use either one of these points. This one will probably be a little easier, because I know that y has to be 3 fourths when x is 1. 1 to the sixth is just 1. So, this is going to be 1, so I get a equals 3 fourths and I've got my power function, y equals 3 fourths x to the sixth. Now, we can check this answer because you can actually do power regression in your calculator. So we're just going to take a quick look to make sure we get the same thing. So let me zoom in a little here. So you can see it just a little bit better. So I'm going to clear that out, and in my stat, I'm going to edit, and I'm going to clear out my lists, and I'm going to put my x values in my L1, negative 1 and 2, and my y's, I'm going to have my 3 fourths and 48. So I'm going to go back to stat calc. The regression I'm going to use is power regression and I get a domain error. So this is where I said something interesting actually shows up in here. Now if I go to it, the domain error in the power regression is the fact that I'm trying to use the point negative one three fourths. So that causes an issue, but here's how we can resolve that. Alright, so our power function goes through 248, which would be up here somewhere, and negative one three-fourths, which is down here somewhere. So, an interesting thing about power functions is if they're defined for both positive and negative, if it's defined for all reals, then it has to be either even or odd. So what we're going to have is we're going to have to see that we have an even power function that's going to look something like a quadratic. The reason that's important because if negative one three-fourths is on my graph, then 1 3 fourths is on my graph, because it was that negative 1 that was causing the problem. So I can go back to my list, change that to a positive 1, and now if I go stat calc to my power reg, I get y equals a times x to the b, where a is 0.75 and b is 6, the same one we found algebraically.